Before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that there's a huge moving sale on my shop right now. 30% discount with the coupon code MOVING in case you want to check that out. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> Man, my hair looks really weird. It's okay. It's only you and me, guys. Today, I've been working on the color palette and how I am going to paint and ink uh, my new graphic novel. Ed has been working on the graphic novel for a long time, writing the script, and now he finally finished the script. And I need to start taking very important decisions in terms of how I'm going to paint this massive beast and how I'm going to ink it, because I haven't even started drawing it yet, guys. And do you know when you have to make a very important decision but you keep avoiding making that decision, procrastinating maybe. Yeah, that's exactly where I am right now because since I know it's a very important decision to take, I have been uh, doing other things <laughs> instead of focusing on that. So this afternoon, I really want to focus on that. I've been also listening to a lot of albums today. I just start listening Minuteman and you guys, this is really, really interesting. I mean, so far I'm in the second track, so I can't properly make an opinion, give an opinion about it, but so far it's really interesting. And today I listened to The Go-Go's, my first time listening to the whole album. Totally, absolutely recommend, I loved it. And the second, um, and before that I listened to Van Halen. You guys, I thought Van Halen was going to be like, oh my God, this is going to be tough. I don't want to listen to this crap. Nothing against Van Halen, it's just that I am not really into metal or like really classical rock, but it was really interesting, so I'm really happy that um, it was in the list. So yeah, uh, right now I'm going to continue working on this. It starts snowing, it's really cozy here, I'm very happy. Good morning. Uh, today's Thursday, <laughs> uh, and today I basically need to take care of my website, my portfolio. Uh, and by take care, I mean work on it. So I need to work on my portfolio because, as you guys know, there's nothing on my uh, portfolio website at the minute, and I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I never sit, sat down and focus on doing this task. So hopefully between today and tomorrow, I can work on this and finally have a decent, I'm not even aiming for professional. I just want something decent so people can go there and see who I am and what I'm working on and my work and stuff like that. So right now I have laid out uh, the basic layout. <laughs> I drew the basic layout of the website, like the sections and like the basic design of the whole thing. And now I need to start looking for all of the work that I want to put on my portfolio. I know quality versus quantity is the best thing to think right now in terms of like what I want to put out there. So I'm aiming for not more than, I don't know, 12 projects, nine projects. Uh, maybe I'm aiming too high, but considering the books that I publish and all of that, I think it's a good, it's a good amount. Anyway, I'm going to work on that right now and I'll keep you out there. I have changed to share it with the whole process. <music> I've been working on this mofo for the last two hours, two and a half hours. I forgot how overwhelming and frustrating it is to work on your portfolio because you have to not only track down all the work that you're really proud of, uh, all of the commissions that I have done, they're so freaking old. So I'm like, should I put this? Should I even like... <laughs> 
my god and the other thing is that you need to track down the year you did it and in my case some of them are super old the good thing is that i track most of them um like my scenes and the books that i have published and some of the things that i have no idea how to organize because god they're really old but anyway i realized also that I need to add a few sections on the website, like for example, not only the work that I have done, but for example, personal projects, like the t-shirt project I did once on my illustrations on Instagram or the stationery that I designed that they're not properly commissioned, that most of this, this is the thing guys, most of my projects right now or in the past, I don't know, three or four years, they're self commissions, they're projects that I have made for myself or for you guys for the shop or here on the channel or on my instagram so it's really hard for me to say like oh yeah this is for a very prestigious client no it's not it's for me <laughs> so i have no idea how to organize that anyway maybe i'm too into this thing right now and that's why i feel really overwhelmed i just need to maybe take a break and see how can i organize this beast because it's a lot of work you guys <laughs> it is a lot also i have been listening to ba -ba -ba -ba, wire pink flag uh not my favorite album of the list that i have listened so far and also eric clapton my first time any uh, listening to eric clapton not that bad all of the mus like music fans right now might be cringing for me saying all of this yeah and now i'm going to listen to bob dylan time out uh, time of mine. This um, confession is the first Bob Dylan album I've listened like a whole album. I'm not, of course, I know songs, Bob Dylan songs. God, do you know why I'm doing this project? You see why I'm doing it? Because I know nothing about music. Hi guys, uh, so I just had lunch and wait a second, <laughs> I haven't turned out the lights. Jesus Christ. Uh, now you know that when I have lunch, I turn off the lights, so my mind knows that I am relaxing. Anyway, hi guys, I just had lunch and now I decided to take a break with the portfolio website because it was getting too overwhelming. <laughs> the good thing is that I gather all the information uh, commission-wise, but finally I have all the files, so I think tomorrow with more of like a fresh mind I'm going to tackle that bastard. Uh, but for the rest of the afternoon I think I'm going to keep working on the color studies that I'm, I am doing for my upcoming, <laughs> upcoming, not, and not anytime soon, but my new graphic novel. <laughs> um, so I already showed you yesterday uh, the results of the the studies that i was doing yesterday and right now guys i'm trying to figure out what is going to be the situation with the skin tones these are not the final skin tones by the ways but i'm just like second guessing myself if i should even paint skin tones because and i don't know if i can show you here um i put it on a separate layer and i think it looks cooler if there's no skin tones throughout the entire graphic novel because I don't know if you can see, but the palette is very res restricted. And I think that if I add skin tones to every single character, that might add lots of colors to the color palette. These are my small and tiny daily dramas, guys. <laughs> and I, su I should also keep doing the these ones. I don't know if you remember this, guys, but last year I started doing some um, sketch studies for a couple of what is the word uh, like landscapes and stuff as you guys know <laughs> I hate doing landscapes everything that goes on the background I hate drawing them it's something that I avoid because I sucked I really suck at doing this so last year I decided to challenge myself and do some um, background uh, sketches because Elinius is going to be a very high demanding graphic novel and I need to practice before before doing this um, monster of graphic novel. So right now, I think the last ones I did, I don't know if I, if I show you, um, if this background sounds familiar, they're because most of the graphic novel is set in Hastings. <laughs> 
can you tell how much Ed and I love Hastings? Uh, also cars, I am the worst at drawing cars. And this one was the last one I did, it was a small coffee shop where the main character goes every single day um, and some like other bits. Anyway, uh, what I have been doing lately is um, drawing these ones. Uh, this is the house of the main character. Am I going too fast, guys? I'm sorry. So today and probably tomorrow as well, <laughs> I will have to tackle a couple of interior rooms of certain scenarios because uh, I feel really overwhelmed, guys, with all of the things that I have to do. But this is something that I... This is the thing, guys. Can I, can I, can I give you a secret? No, can I, can I share a secret with you? So I've been feeling, since I got here from holiday, I've been feeling really, really overwhelmed by all the things that I have to do this year, like the projects that I want to do. And instead of feeling overwhelming, overwhelmed, I, th I thought that the best thing to fight all of these feelings is to actually sit down and do, do the things. I will stop feeling overwhelmed once I sit down and start drawing these things or figure out how the color palette is going to look like on the graphic novel. So even though it's anxious, it gives me anxiety to do these things and it is overwhelming to think all the things I need to do, I know rationally that the only way of fighting these demons is to actually do the work and like focus and do the work. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and tomorrow I go, I'm probably going to keep working on both these projects, my portfolio and this graphic novel. So wish me luck. Oh, hi guys. There you go. This is weird. Happy Friday. Today is hourly comic day, which if you have no idea what it is, um, I don't blame you. Uh, hourly comic day is when illustrators draw every hour of one day today. So every hour we're supposed to upload an illustration to Instagram or social media and I am doing it this year. Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> anyway, uh, right now I'm working on the, I think, 10 and 11 o'clock, I mean the morning illustration. This is the 11 one, 11 a.m and uh, right now it's 12 in the afternoon. God, it, I, I feel like on hourly comic day, this is the only thing I do, illustrate hourly comic day, which is pointless because I'm supposed to live and experience stuff in order to draw it. It's the same that happens with Logmas, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm listening right now, uh, Cine O'Connor, which one is the one? So uh, today, you guys, this morning has been the morning of the classics because I listened to Bob Dylan and it was Bob Dylan, The Doors, and Sin uh, how do you say Sinier O'Connor? Anyway, I don't want what I haven't got and it's it's been really interesting so far. I love that I get the chance to listen to all of these albums because without this challenge that I put on myself, it would have been really hard to just like having, taking the initiative to do something like this. Anyway, so I'm drawing everything on my iPad um, because it's quicker than other ways that I could be doing this. And this is the way. So in, on my iPad, guys, I have a square format file. It's easier to upload to Instagram. And then I transfer everything uh, via AirDrop to my phone. And that's the way I've been doing this. Um, yeah, it's been really fun actually to draw really fast and to capture every hour into one illustration.
I got my hair. <laughs> um, happy Monday. This these things are out of hand. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, hi guys. So today I just had a meeting with JS because we finally started organizing the moving of my shop. As you guys know, my shop is based in the UK because that's where I used to live. And now I would love to have my shop back with me, next to me, next to this chubby heart. And right now I need to reply a bunch of emails because that's what you do on a Monday morning. And uh, for today, I think I'm going to keep working on my portfolio because it's something that I, I need to tackle that bastard, guys. Um, yeah, I need to, I, yeah. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I've been the worst vlogger ever. I had a very awesome day, you guys. Very productive. There's nothing more amazing than having a really productive day. As you guys know, my shop is moving from Hastings to UK. So we're going to discontinue, like unsubscribe uh, from my old PO box in Hastings. And I'm going to uh, transfer all of the return addresses, like the return parcels to New York. And I needed to do a new label, so here it is. And I also did the graphics for the Etsy shop sale that I'm doing, in case you were wondering. Uh, so I wanted to do something cute for social media and I did these graphics for that. And I also worked on my new portfolio website, which is very simple, nothing fancy. I just wanna show what I've done so far. So now I'm gonna wash my hair because it's gross. And maybe I'm gonna re-dye it again because you guys, this this shades of pink, really pastel pink, they fade so freaking fast. I did it last Sunday, a week ago, and it's already faded. So where the time goes? Yes who didn't dye her hair last night. <laughs> That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I always have the best time with you. Don't forget that there's a huge sale on my shop in case you wanna check that out. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, for always being here. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much also to my patrons because they allow me to buy art supplies. They're not here. <laughs> Uh, but they allow me to film these videos and yeah, thank you so much patrons. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and weekend ahead and I'll see you all next week. Bye bye guys.